afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Ahmed Fouad Munir. I'm ENT consultant working in Doha, Qatar since six years. I was uh, chief of ENT department uh, at general organization of teaching hospitals and the institutes. I got my MD degree from Cairo University. So, uh, well, my special interest is in rhinology. Welcome, Doctor. Doctor, well, what do you think about Rhino Egypt this year? Rhino Egypt, as every year, is all the time you expect something new. So this year I'm expecting much more improvement than the last years. So I can find now, for example, the TV show, the TV, the multimedia, the the preparation of the holes, everything, I think it's well prepared and well organized and I expect more improvement year after year. Okay, that's great. Uh, doctor, what did you present this year? My presentation was in uh, the article of congenital absence of lower lateral cartilage. It was a case report. It was a rare case. Uh, it was nice to document that case I have encountered coincidentally during my work with rhinoplasty case. So uh, this case had something very rare, which was congenital absence of lower lateral cartilage or the alar cartilage. The patient was not oriented that she has something, she was born with it and she didn't know what was that. So after suspicion, you have to be suspicious of that this patient, if she wants to undergo uh, rhinoplasty operation, for example, the doctor will make some history. After taking the history, we found that this patient had nasal obstruction and has, has tip asymmetry and has something abnormal in the lower part of her nose. So before doing rhinoplasty, we made some investigations. We uh, discovered that maybe something odd in the alar cartilage. So after exposure the, the field for operation, we found congenital absence of lower lateral cartilage. Why uh, uh, should I say that it is congenital? Because this patient was not exposed to any trauma before or she was not exposed to any surgery before. So it was evident that this is absence of the lower cartilage due to congenital cause. Maybe due to teratogenic effect of some problems during the pregnancy of the mother or something. In such cases, though it's rare, it can be visible during birth, immediately after birth, or it can be obscured, it can be occult, and this case, one of them. So it was nice to see that the case had this abnormality, we discovered it, and the nice thing that we corrected it according uh, to the basics and to the rules of rhinoplasty, especially secondary rhinoplasty operations. We have done and we corrected the case and the patient, uh, the, the case was done uh, since two years. The patient now is happy with, the, with, with uh, the outcome and no asymmetry, no, uh, no problems concerning the function of the nose also, and we are happy also with the result. I documented the case, and uh, luckily I made my presentation at uh, 4 o'clock, and it was nice, I was uh, happy with the discussions and with the environment I was in that. Thank you so much.